Kirby Aramoina, the determined lead of the band, realizes that with no new gigs booked, it's time for her bandmates to face reality and find alternate employment. She gathers them in the living room of their shared house, her voice firm as she lays down the hard truth. Eden Fowler and Remy Carter, however, seem to be in denial, lounging around and doing nothing to change their predicament. Kirby's heart sinks as she realizes an unpaid bill has finally caught up with them. This moment of crisis becomes a wake-up call for Eden. The weight of their financial struggles hits her heart, and she knows it's time to get her act together. The following morning, Eden runs into Felicity Newman at the local cafe. Felicity, always the supportive friend, tells her that there's still a job opening at Salt. Eden's heart races at the prospect of steady income, but then she remembers the catch, working alongside Mackenzie, her brother Levi's lover. The thought of it makes her stomach churn. The next day, Eden walks into Salt, her chin held high despite the nerves gnawing at her. She approaches Felicity, who greets her with a warm smile. Mackenzie, already behind the bar, looks up in surprise. There's a moment of tension, but Eden takes a deep breath and extends her hand. I'm here for the job, she says, determination clear in her voice. Eden begins her new job, she finds herself navigating the complexities of working alongside Mackenzie. There are awkward moments and tense conversations, but slowly, they start to find common ground. Eden's decision to swallow her pride and accept the job at Salt marks a turning point for all of them. It's a reminder that sometimes, taking a difficult step can lead to unexpected growth and opportunities. As they navigate their new paths, the band members realize that their shared dreams are worth fighting for, and together, they can overcome any obstacle.